Hey Freebs Nation, Jordan Page here. I just got back from Costco and I just did a real big splurge and I thought I'd show you what I got. What do you want? You wanna see a splurge from Costco for a family of 10? Let's do it. I'm gonna be honest, my kids are actually getting home from school in less than 10 minutes. So I'm going to have to do this fast, but before I put this food away, I know you guys love seeing my grocery shopping hauls and I haven't done a Costco haul in a while, so I thought I'd show you what I got and why I splurged. I definitely went over my typical budget this week. It's also been on my mind because I don't know if you saw, I recently did a video with all my best Costco tips, tricks, and hacks that you probably have never ever heard of. So be sure to go watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. Here's what we're gonna do. It's tradition that when I do a grocery haul like this that you guys guess how much I spent. I suspect that this is going to be your hardest one ever. You guys are usually pretty good at guessing. This one's gonna be tough. So let me tell you what, if anyone can get within $5 of guessing this correctly, you win queen of the day. Place your vote in the comments and then I'll tell you at the end of the video how much this costs and we'll see how good you are. Let's go fast, I'm gonna show you what I got and then tell you how much I spent. Let me break it down. And just keep in mind that you'll notice that there are some things here that I do buy often, but there are some things that are atypical. Ultimately, the summary of this trip is a little bit of impulse buy, a little bit stocking up on school food, which pains my heart because the school snacks were not on sale this month, but we needed them anyway. Getting ready for the holidays and stocking up on other things. So parchment, pretty self-explanatory, was totally out of that and the holidays are coming, so got that. Bacon bits, this is the world's best kept secret when baking and cooking and it calls for bacon, I never actually cook fresh bacon. Just make sure it's 100% real bacon, like this is. Keeps very well in the freezer for a very long time. Whole cashews, this is my go-to snack. I actually keep this bag in the armrest of my car and just grab a handful throughout the day to keep my metabolism going, to keep my energy up. Absolutely delicious. Eggs, you know my family goes through a ton of eggs, so I got five dozen eggs for the week. Some sausage, I think I'm going to make some breakfast muffins. I'm gonna cook up a big old thing of sausage, make some muffins, maybe add a little bacon bacon in there, it'll be great. My sister-in-law, Katie, literally texted me and said, stop what you're doing and go buy this now. And I'm like, well, clearly I have to. So this is a full impulse buy. She says it's delicious. She said it reminds her of my cranberry chip dip, my cranberry salsa recipe from my cookbook. And she said it's delicious pita chips or crackers. So if you've tried this, let me know in the comments, but I'm excited about it, I don't know, impulse buy. To be honest, I think I was just in a snacky mood with this and that's ultimately where this came from too. This for holiday parties, hosting, even gift, like a hostess gift is so delicious. Pour it over just about anything, but I love it over cream cheese. Serve it with wheat thins and you eat it as like a pepper jelly, so good. So I, I saw that and had to snatch that. So those two definite kind of holiday vibe impulse buys. Collagen, I have collagen every single morning and unfortunately these were on sale like a month or two ago and I bought several of them, but not enough, because now I'm out and I had to pay full price for these, which I absolutely hate doing. But if you saw my Costco tips video, you know that if something you buy goes on sale within 30 days, you can get a refund for the difference in cost. So if these go on sale next month, I will go to customer service and see if I can get a refund, but oh, I hate it paying full price for those. Uh, which is another tip, make sure to keep track of when things go on sale, because there tends to be a rhythm throughout the year of sales, and it gives you the opportunity to stock up rather than being stuck paying top dollar like I did. Capri Suns for lunches. They don't have these every day, but once in a while, they love them. Fruit snacks for lunches, which if you know my snack and lunch system, which if you haven't watched that video, I'll link it below. This, we actually consider a treat and not a fruit. We were out, our treat bin is basically empty. So going out of order, we got this. We got these, which were a personal request by my eight-year-old. She's obsessed with these, these as well. And those are all considered treats. While I'm on the subject, I also got goldfish for lunch, making sure to buy the three large bags rather than the little individual packs of goldfish because these are way cheaper and we just put them in Ziploc bags ourselves. We just put them in snack size bags and create our own little snack bags for way cheaper. These were actually on sale. I only bought two boxes because I knew my tab would be pretty high this time, but I might go back next week and get some more. They were $4 off and these are great. These, we don't consider treats. These go in our fruit bin for lunches. Okay. 
Okay, kind of went out of order. Going back, lots of produce. I was out of town for a work trip for a few days, so mom was trying to get everybody back on a healthy track. Got myself a big old 48 ounce bag of broccoli. Two bunches of bananas, which we'll go through these pretty quickly. Normally I buy more, but they were so green, so green. If they were more yellow, I would have bought more. Some red seedless grapes, raspberries, butternut squash, spinach, Brussels sprouts, squash, and mushrooms. So my plan with the veggies, this, 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 oh, and baby carrots. This is a huge thing of baby carrots. But my goal with the veggies is I'm going to roast up a big old batch of diced veggies and just kind of eat them throughout the week. These are kind of my basics that I always like to have on hand as you've seen. All right, this was an impulse buy. I couldn't help myself. I am a sucker for all things butternut. And with the fall, I just couldn't help myself. And they were on sale. This would also make for a quick and easy dinner. This package ended up being $8 and something with it on sale. Figured it could be kind of a fun dinner splurge. I had decided that I would make like an Alfredo sauce and kind of do like a cheesy, creamy butternut squash Alfredo one of these days with a side of salad and bread. I don't know, I think that'd be really yummy. Impulse buy. So two pounds of strawberries, which these don't actually look amazing, but they don't look terrible. Here's the trick though. Remember to always flip your package upside down. You don't wanna see any smushed ones on the bottom. Don't just look at the ones on the top. Flip your package. We did not need milk. We have about five gallons of milk, but we did need sour cream. So I got a big old tub, 48 ounces of sour cream. Prime. This was an impulse buy. This was on sale. My kids love Prime, the hydration ones, not the caffeinated ones, but they're kind of expensive. I thought that these could be a good idea. They were on sale. It was about $20 for a pack of 30. So this will kind of be like when they're headed to a tumbling competition or something like that, then I can give them a stick that they can add to a water bottle rather than buying the full priced Prime drink. This was a weakness and impulse buy, but you should have seen Hutch's reaction. He literally was jumping up and down cheering that I bought those. Parents, let me tell you what, once you get a teenager, they suddenly have a lot of opinions about your grocery list. And I know if you have teenagers, you've experienced this, right? Am I alone? No, let me know in the comments. But Hutch and Priya, they will literally take my phone and add their own preferences to the shopping list. I'm losing control over my little army slowly. Send help. All right, let's get to the carb section here. I love smoked salmon on a bagel in the morning and I was out of bagels, so I got myself the everything bagels and plain. And my kids like the plain ones, but they won't touch these. So these are mostly for me. I got some rolls to make little ham and cheese sandwiches for lunch or little sliders for dinner, bread for sandwiches, toast in the morning, all that kind of stuff. And then these were on sale. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love love having naan in my freezer because curry and especially slow cooker curry is the easiest, cheapest, most filling meal. I swear that's a go-to for us at least every other week. I make a huge thing of curry. Having naan bread in the freezer, it is literally the easiest dinner. It's as easy as spaghetti. Let me tell you what. And if you don't have a good slow cooker curry recipe, check out my cookbook. I've got a really good one in there. Since these were on sale, I bought two packs. I figure I'll make curry in the next few days and use one right away and just freeze the other one. You guys, we're doing in this. We're going fast. I'm almost done. All right. Another holiday impulse buy. These are absolutely stupid, ridiculous, delicious. I love these so much. They're on sale right now. They end up being a little over $5 a bag and it's a really big bag. It's 20 ounces. These actually make really fun neighbor gifts or teacher gifts or coach gifts. So I only bought two this time and out loud, I'm going to say that they're probably for neighbor gifts, but let's be honest. I'm probably going to eat them myself. Chia seeds, these I keep in the freezer and we add them to our smoothies and protein drinks and also our protein pancakes. They are just so, so good for you, so healthy. This is a huge bag, it's a three pound bag. The best price you'll get is at Costco. Ah, the kids are coming, protein drinks. This was a personal request from Hutch because sometimes he runs out the door without packing a lunch because he has jazz band early. Hey, Whoa. Priya, look what, yeah. look what I got you guys. Let's go. I know, but listen, these are not for every day. This pack was 20 bucks, I know. So this is more for like if you have a competition or something, but yeah. Davey, guess what I got you. Dun, 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 dun. Yes! <laughs> I know, I know. I know, I know. I know, mom of the year, mom of the year. I went broke with this shopping haul, but I got you what you wanted. Only mom. <laughs> I'm gonna take it as a compliment. Oh, I'll pay you later. Okay, here's another thing I got. I bought myself this coat in brown mm -hmm. and Priya kept stealing it. I didn't know it was hers, okay? <laughs> she left and it was on the table. I was like, oh, is that mine? She's like, your coat is on the table. I'm 
okay. So I wore it to school and I didn't know. So what she kept stealing my coat and I said, if I could find a small, would you want to try it? And she wanted it in black. What do you think? Is it I good? Like it, yeah. It's yeah, it's a little big, but you'll grow into it. A nice winter coat. That is a nice coat. So we got Priya a coat. I'm really mad at you because I was about to ask you to buy it today. And I'm like, wait, what? And it just appeared there. Yes. I read your mind. I actually, Priya put this on my shopping list because I knew you guys were out. But as you guys know, these are for lunches, okay? So you can't just eat them here at home. Anyway, these protein drinks are, I bought for Hutch for when he's running out the door. He has jazz band really early in the morning. I'd rather him have a protein drink than eat nothing at all. And sometimes he's just not in the mood to eat. So I bought those for him. We have a little mini fridge over there. If you saw in my kitchen tour, talked about the mini fridge. So I just leave these in there for them to grab and grow for sports or meals. And then I think I'm almost done. Last but not least, Priya, you wanna be my Vanna White and hold up my shacket? I bought a little something for me. It's a shacket. I don't think you can. I know, I do love my shackets. I know, no shame. Okay, I'm kind of revealing this and giving it away because I know you're supposed to guess the price, but this was on sale for $11. So maybe I bought it in multiple colors. Don't judge me, but I love the shackets. They're really cute. Two more impulse buys. These were also on sale and I thought they were adorable. And so I got one for our front door and one for our side door. I'm sorry, I was in a mood today. How cute are those? What do you think, Joss? It's what? Very Christmas. They are Christmas. Beck, you wanna put that at our front door for us? Isn't that cute? Yeah, I, I really, really like it. Yeah, it's really cute, huh? Good job. Oh, oops, also my kids were being helpful in putting groceries away. I forgot, there's a few more things. A big old bag of potatoes. This is 10 pounds. I got two bags of sweet potatoes. Also, this bag of salmon, a 48 ounce, three pound bag of salmon. Okay, for real, last but not least, egg rolls. I got these because fried rice, like lo mein kind of thing that I make in a moment's notice is such a good meal, but it's hard to know what to put as a side. These were on sale and I thought they'd be perfect as like a little side dish for an easy fried rice dinner or something. Something like that. Okay, now with the potatoes and the salmon and the egg rolls, you ready? The grand total is, how much do you think I paid for all those groceries, Maury? $5,000. $5,000? Good news, not even close, but it was a lot. It was $532.44. Who got the closest? How'd you guys do? So if you followed me for a while, you know that's about double my weekly budget. We usually try to only spend about $250 a week on groceries, but oh, hi buddy, good morning. Mac just woke up. Hi, I'm finishing up a YouTube video. You wanna help me out? Yeah. But in this case, I was in an impulse buy mood and also just in a stock up mood. And the good news is I really didn't spend that much on groceries last week. So it wasn't too bad, huh, Mac? Yeah. Okay, I gotta go. Can you say thanks for watching? Thanks for watching. <laughs> say see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. -bye. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mac, aren't those cute? They're so cute. Wait, what? Oh. Isn't, isn't that cute? Yeah. They're so cute. Christmas yeah, but it kind of hurts with my feet barefoot. Uh, but they're so cute.